Hello, everyone. I'm Camille. We've learned so many stunning effects in our previous videos. Today, I'm gonna share with you how to create an effect that replicates the look of opening a photo with the old Windows Photo Viewer. All you need to do is follow the steps in the video to complete it. If you're interested, keep watching. First, we need to prepare a photo and a picture of the old photo viewer, which looks retro. It's best to use a photo with a clear subject, which makes it easier to remove the background. Next, we go to this website. Just upload the photo you want to remove off the background, and the website can do the rest automatically. Then, just click here to download the cutout image. Next, we open VideoProc Flagger. If you haven't downloaded it yet, remember to get it for free in the video description box. The photo we use is vertical, so we first click here to adjust the aspect ratio for this project. Select 9 by 16. Then we import the retro picture and the photo we prepared into VideoProc Flagger. We first put the retro picture on the overlay track and adjust its size to fill the screen. Then in the Inspector panel, we find the green screen function and click here. The green color disappears automatically. If there's any redundant green, you can adjust the parameters here to get a better effect. After that, we put the cutout photo on the main track, adjusting its duration to about 2 seconds. Then we adjust the position of the photo. Here, we can lock the overlay track first. Then adjust the photo position. I feel that the black background does not match the photo quite well. So we can change the background color here. I chose white. But you can choose any color you like from here. Next, we add some motion effects to the photo. Select the photo, click on motion. Add a keyframe at the beginning, and then restore the selection box. Then we add another keyframe at the 1 second mark. Change the speed transition to speed it down. Go back to the first keyframe, and move this selection box upward until it's off the window. Now, the photo has an entrance animation from bottom to top. Next, we put the original photo in this position. Because we adjusted the position earlier, the positions of these two photos are not aligned. To fix this, we select the first photo, find the position in the inspector panel, and input the parameters we find here into the same setting options for the second photo. Now, the position of these two photos are aligned. Then we click on Transitions, add a Wipe Right transition effect, and adjust the duration. It looks pretty good when we played it back. Finally, we adjust the duration of the next clip. Split the second photo and adjust its color. We can use the retro filter. and add an effect to level up the end result.
Let's play it back and see the final effect. It looks pretty good. Of course, you can also add some text to the picture. Give it a try yourself. That's it for this video. If you're interested, remember to follow us to receive notifications of new videos. If you want to learn other video editing skills, you can search for them on our channel's homepage. See you in the next video. Bye!